Breaking news, my wonderful people. <laughs> they say never give up until until it's over. It's never really over. Kwonkoso uh, reignites himself and the uh, you know uh, Peter Ubi's uh, alliance. The alliance between Kwonkoso and uh, Peter Ubi is being reignited because um, Kwonkoso is saying that he cannot work with Ashiwaju Ahmed. Bola Tinubu. The plan is himself and Ashiwajame Bola Tinubu may want to come together and work together and see how they can take it from there, you know. But um, it feels like somebody's not really happy, happy about what is going on, you know. Somebody's not really happy. So there are real issues going on here. There are real issues happening, okay. So this is what is happening now. You know, uh, Peter will be Kwonkoso Alliance may be reignited, and um, Nigerians are, I mean, obedience are quite happy, you know, to get all that support. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Peter will be Kwonkoso Alliance may be reignited. A shifting of the new Nigerians. People Party NNP P Bo Babu Galadima has said talks of an alliance between his party presidential candidate Rabi Ukwonkoso and the presidential candidate of Labour Party LP Peter Obi may be real ignited. Let Nigeria understands that Peter Obi and Kwonkoso could not come to an agreement when they had talks about aligning ahead of 2023 elections. It was gathered that the duo could not agree on who will drop his presidential ambition and settle for the running mate ticket. Speaking to Daily Independence, Galadima said there could be another chance for both parties to discuss about forming an alliance before the next year's election. He, however, expressed disappointment that the NNPP could not seal a deal with Labour Party. According to him, if an alliance is sealed, next year's election would have been won in, in, a, in a click of a finger. Asked if he was disappointed about the outcome of the field talk, Baba, Babu Galadima said, You know, I am chaired, I, you know, I chaired that meeting. Yes. Definitely, I was disappointed that it didn't happen. If that union had taken place, the election for 2023, February 25th, would have been ended by 12 p.m. In fact, some of us would have been in Dubai and Paris dining when we would have been told that we have won the election. But you know, ego would be what I consider to be part of the issue. And people think that what we see in the press is what happens in actual life that's not all i don't want to go into it because there still there still could be another chance for talk for each of both of them to ensure that this merger becomes a reality even before 2023 election we are sure that this will be a walk at the park if both can agree and work together and see to it that they stand a good chance to work and to bring out they have different personalities from the north, from the south. Then we are in for a big moment. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. Uh, we can hear Galadima saying that, um, you know, saying that, uh, you know, it is possible that this merger will, can still happen. It can still happen. Again, he said ego and, you know, personalities, different personalities play the big part. You know, where the people, everyone you know, wants to be the presidential candidate. Nobody wants to step down for the order. So this is what happened. And there could still be a big chance. Okay. There's the, there's, that chance could still happen. Okay. That, that chance could still happen where the difference can possibly, you know, difference can possibly be made. So that, you know, we, you know at the end of the day, Nigerians could have that better opportunity. Okay to bring about the change that is so desire. So it is what it is. And uh, we all want the country to become a better place, not just for one, but for all, so that Nigerians can truly, you know, be happy with the outcome 
you know, of the election that they have brought in someone, people who sincerely, truly have a heart for the nation, people who sincerely, truly want this country change, people sincerely, truly who wants, you know, difference in all that is currently happening. It's still possible. Yes, there is still hope. You know, there is hope for a tree. Even when you cut it down, you know, it's still going to rise up again. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. This is what is going on. And uh, we are hearing that the possibility of that merger is still possible and uh, anything can happen. Okay, anything can happen. So we are waiting patiently to see because the truth is, so people might say, no, Peter Baby doesn't know. No, you need everybody. Trust me. He's not going to be the president of some people. It's not going to be. It's going to be the president of the nation. It's going to be the priest of. It's going to be the president of Nigeria, and Nigerians. Everyone is going to be. You know, it's going to be part of that nation. But you're going to work with both the north, the south. It's going to work with everybody. Okay. So it, it, honestly, sincerely speaking, you know, this this is becoming the real deal. Everybody is getting on board. Everybody is getting at it, and everyone is saying, you know, it, it's possible. It's possible for this to happen. Okay, it's possible for this to happen. We can actually make it work. Hey, here we are now. We can actually make it work. Mm -hmm. So this is what is happening. Why every one of us, you know, we must vote in that right candidate. No, no mess, no, no, uh, no distance, no distance whatsoever. We must make it happen. Everybody has got a duty here. Every one of us must contribute meaningfully. And that's why, I mean, ANEC has given a, a, a portal open for people to go out and to ensure that they, you know, check corrections on their PVCs and ensure that the PVCs, every one PVC is corrected. Things are well, things are going well. And, you know, that's what it is. That's what it is. So it is what it is. And if we want change to begin to happen, we have to begin to effect that change. Every one of us have to begin to work for it. So this is what is happening right now. Yeah, this is what is going on. Anyway, my wonderful people, it's about time we begin to align and we begin to realize that, you know, the days that are upon us are days where truth must be dispensed. Every one of us must tell the truth so that at the end of the day, we can become a better nation and a better people. Remember, you have a voice. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Remember, we all must contribute meaningfully. We all must contribute and ensure that truth is being dispensed. Bye for now.